Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. Tricks, traps and blunders. Let's start. H3 E5 C4 C6 A4 Wow, what an imagination! Bishop to C5 B3 Black to move. How would you continue? Player with black pieces played the bishop takes pawn on f2 check kaboom king takes bishop what did player with the black pieces have in mind player with the black pieces continued with queen to h4 check g3 blocking black to move black played the move and white resigned and the move is queen to d4 check white resigned next game let's see some games when player with the white pieces one a3 can you really win with move like this knight to f6 e3 d5 c4 d4 e takes on d4 queen takes on d4 attacking the queen Black to move. Player with the black pieces pinned the knight. Nobody thought him this move. He invented this move himself. Should white play bishop to e2 to unpin? Or maybe there is another move. There is another move and the move is knight takes queen. Bishop takes queen King takes bishop and the black with a piece down resigned. Next game. B4, the Polish opening. D5, bishop to b2, knight to d7, knight to f3, f and g to f6, e3, g6, c4. D takes on c4, helping white to bring the bishop in the game. Bishop to g7. White to move. Should white cast the king's side? Or maybe there is a better move. What would you do? Play with the white pieces played. Bishop takes pawn on f7. Check. King takes bishop. White played a move and black resigned. Believe it or not, and the move is knight to g5. Black resigned. If the king goes to f8, then knight to e6 check winning the queen. And if the king goes to g8, what happens then? Then queen to b3 check, and after e6, queen takes pawn check, king to f8, queen to f7 check mate. Next game, knight to c3. One git opening. D5, E4, D takes an E4, Knight takes an E4, E5, Bishop to C4, Bishop to F5 attacking the Knight, Queen to F3, Bishop to G6, Knight to G5. The F7 square is attacked by three pieces. Knight to F6. White to move. How would you continue? White play the move when black resigned and the move is Queen to B3. Player with the black pieces resigned in view of this continuation. Queen to D7. Queen takes pawn on B7. And we may as well save the rook. Everything else is losing too. And after this move, white can play bishop to b5, pinning and winning the queen. Next game. Knight to c3, again, one git opening. e5, knight to f3, knight to c6. d4, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4. Queen to f6, and from d to b5, sending the queen back. Bishop to f4, d6, white to move. White, play the move and black resigned, then the move is knight to d5. 
Black resigned. Let's play a few more moves. If something like knight to f6, then knight on d takes on c7 check. After the king moves to e7, bishop takes on d6. Check, king to d7, bishop takes, bishop discover check. And I guess we can stop here. Next game. And this is my favorite for today. Knight to c3, another Van Gitt opening. d5, e4, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, knight to d7, bishop to c4, f and g to f6, knight to g5, e6, queen to e2, bishop to e7, white to move. Should white play? Knight to f3, d4, or maybe there is another move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Believe it or not, white played a move and black resigned, and the move is knight takes pawn on f7. Player with the black pieces resigned in view of this continuation. King takes knight. Queen takes pawn check. King to g6. Other moves are losing even quicker. Then queen to f7 check, king to h6, d4 discover check. After g5, h4 attacking the pink pawn and everything is losing, so we may as well play something like queen to g8. Then the pawn takes pawn check, double check, check mate. What do you think of these tricks? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.